<clears throat> okay, number 23. Give the major elimination product of the following reaction. So here they give us this molecule. It has a, what is that, benzene, it's a phenyl, benzene ring coming out of it, out of us, a hydrogen, CH3, connected to, here's the methyl group coming out at us. Methyl group going away from us, a bromine within the um, plane of the paper. And I'm treating it with sodium hydroxide with heat. So I have a strong base. Plus heat. And that gives me an E2 reaction, right? So now I want to, if I'm going to, so that means I'm probably going to get an E2 reaction. So if I want elimination, I want the anti-confirmation, right? I want the hydrogen, this hydrogen and this bromine to be anti to each other. So what I did is I just took this part of the molecule and I rotated it. Um, I guess I rotated it uh, 120 degrees so that they would be anti. So I left this side of the molecule the same, right? The phenyl group, the hydrogen, and the methyl. But the bromine moved up, up to the CH3. The CH3 moved to the ethyl, and the ethyl moved to where the bromine was. So now I have the bromine coming out. I have the CH3 going in, and the ethyl group is coming is within the is in the plane of the paper. So hydrogen the hydrogen and the bromine are anti now. So now I can take the hydroxide ion and it's going to take this hydrogen which is going to donate its electrons to this bond forming a double bond and I'm going to get right uh this is going to flatten out because it's trigonal planar now. So everything's going to be in the plane of the paper. And so this is going to stay where it was. And then the CH3 group is going to kind of like go up. And this is going to remain where it is. And this is the molecule we're going to get.